Hey guys, thanks for tuning into another episode of Nev's Garage. Now, if this is your first time joining us, however, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also toggle on that little bell. That way you'll be notified when our next video comes out. While you're waiting for that one though, might as well stick around for this one. We've got our Victor two stroke mower here. These are a very popular mower here in Australia because they're such a reliable, solid little unit and they're really easy to take care for. Now, we've also got some other videos on the channel. I'll link them in the description below this one. Basic servicing, troubleshooting, blade changing, starter cord replacement, all really hot tips to keep your Victor mower running like new. But what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be checking out the stop switch. Now these little power torque motors uh, have a very basic stop switch operation. Um, basically they're just two probes that go into the side of the plastic carby. One sits in a grommet so it's flexible and then there's a rotor inside the carby that works on the throttle cable as it spins around when you push it up to stop. The probes touch together and short the coil out. Sounds simple enough which it is. Um, that little grommet that holds that probe doesn't always hold it in the right spot and uh, sometimes your stop switch doesn't work at all. Sometimes it shorts out and your mower won't go. So um, what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be bypassing that stop switch. We're gonna be making our own external push button stop switch. It's gonna be real easy. Um, let's get into it. All right, so first of all, let's have a look at our stop switch and where it lives. So here's our carby and our stop switch is just in here. All right, so it comprises of two wires and a couple of grommets and, and that's about it. So if we, if I move the throttle, you'll see the wires wiggle. All right, so as I move it up to stop, that wire that pushes in the side just cocks sideways a bit. Like that. All right, so it's a very basic operation and it's, uh, you know, when it's brand new and everything's adjusted right and the grommets are in good condition, it works fine most of the time, but um, Sometimes it just doesn't, so we're going to make it super reliable and uh, not going to have to worry about it again. So it's really easy to pull apart. You just whip this wire straight out the end, and there's our grommet that I was talking about on there. Okay. The other wire comes in from the bottom at an angle, like that. There he is. We can just leave the rubber cap on there. That's fine. And uh, all right. So let's just pull these wires out the side here so we can get to them okay all right so what we're going to do is join some two core automotive wire onto these run them up the handle and we're going to put an external stop switch on so real simple so let's just get rid of this grommet it just pulls off and we're just going to solder straight onto these brass terminals just to make it real easy so let's do that now <laughs> all right so that's our cable soldered on now we're just going to feed it through here Tuck it out of the way. And we're just going to run it up the snorkel. Alright. Alright guys, so here's the switch we're going to be using. Okay, it's a Nava switch available at pretty much any auto parts store. And uh, you can probably see the part number there but if not I will put it in the description of the video so it's just a very simple momentary push switch you can use a different switch if you want um, but if you do use this switch you'll be able to use this really cool little anti-accident push surround that I've designed and 3d printed so I'll put the link to the STL for this in the description as well and what this is going to do is just prevent any accidental pushes when we brush past trees and stuff of course to mount those we need a little bracket so i've just made a custom little l bracket 
out of uh, aluminum, pre-drilled it, and it's just going to screw onto the mounting bolt of the throttle there. So let's whack him on. All right, so we pop our switch down into our switch protector, like that. Pop it onto our bracket, like that. Pop our switch retainer down our wiring. Now we can solder our wires onto the switch. Done. Come check it out. See, nice and tidy. And uh, hopefully functional. Should we give it a try? All right, guys, let's uh, try it out. Beautiful. Again? Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's how easy it is to put a auxiliary stop switch on a Victor 2 stroke. And uh, it's real easy. It's probably going to take you about half an hour probably about 10 bucks worth of parts. Um, it's certainly, you know, well worthwhile doing. It'll save you a lot of frustration in the long run and um, just makes your unit a lot easier to use. So um, that's it, job done. As always, thanks for tuning in here on Nev's Garage. Please uh, subscribe, like, and share this video and uh, jump on our Instagram, at Gossam Media. That's our handle. Make sure you follow along there. And um, that's about it. So I'm Nev. This is my mower, and I'll see you next time.